Does your company have a centralized repository for all your organization's contacts? Your customers, leads, vendors, and industry partners like architects, designers, and builders? Zillow CRM provides a web-based contact management system providing your company with a centralized database of these important contacts. Many of the companies we work with suffer from information silos where organizational data is spread out among various employees and there's no centralized sharing of this information in any one location. Having quick access to this centralized information can do wonders for your operations and communications. You'll be surprised at how quickly you'll see the results. Let's take a look at how Zoho CRM can help you out. Zoho CRM's contact management system has two main components, accounts and contacts. An account can be used to store a company or a client. Uh, contacts are individual people that can be entered as standalone entries or they can be associated to an account. So an account with contacts added to it. Now let's take a look at a couple different examples. The first example, I'm going to come over here to my accounts tab and I'm going to look at entering an account as a company. So I have media environment design here as my account name and I can see the account type. You can set various different account types here. I can have a phone number, the account owner, that would be the employee or user in my system who is the owner of this account. Obviously we can see here we have billing address and shipping address entered. We can have a description for the account and you'll notice I have contacts stored who work for the company and I can have their individual emails, phone numbers, mobile phone numbers and other details stored here as well. And there's much many other things that we can associate to an account that we'll cover in subsequent videos. But this is just an example of how we can enter an account as a company. Now let's return back to the accounts tab and we'll take a look at an account that we've entered for to represent a client. And in this case I've just used a standard naming convention of last name comma first names. And so if we take a look at this, we have Smith, Robbie, and Marie. The account type might be a customer. You can have a phone and a fax, the address information, description. Again, we have our specific contacts. So we have Robbie and Marie Smith. If we had any other contacts associated with this client, we could add them here as well. Uh, we can view other information associated with the particular account by scrolling down and looking at all the other tabs of information that we have for this account. And again, we'll cover that in subsequent videos, all the various things we can do. Now, having access to all this information in one centralized place is great, but we need to be able to find what we're looking for quickly and easily. And Zoho CRM provides an excellent resource for us to be able to search our database and also create what we call various different views of our information. So first thing I want to show you is how easy it is to conduct a search. So you can see here I can search any one of the particular modules. So if I want to look for something specific within one of those I can pull up something specific or I can just leave it broad scope and search everything. So if I'm looking for something like Robbie if I'm looking for a first name of somebody, it's going to show me any matching accounts with that text or any matching contacts or it'll show really anything in the system since I was searching for everything, anything that comes up with that particular search screen, search string. So if I just type in Rob, you'll see it brings up anything with the ROB like problem, but it also brings up the two accounts we are looking for. So I can look up Smith. So see I have somebody named John Smith and it's bringing up John Smith and Mary Smith. Uh, must be a different client with the same last name. So you've seen how easy it is to search. Now let's take a look at views. Now views are essentially uh, pre-saved filters of our data that allow me to look at uh, various bits of information. So I can save these I have predefined views that come with Zoho, we have recent views, and we also can create any of our own views that we want. So if I want to look up just my customers, I can look at my predetermined customers view where I have the account name, phone number, description, and an account number shown here. 
I might want to look up industry partners. And this would be a view that I have filtered to only show me interior designers, architects, builders, electricians, those types of contacts. Now if we take a look and we edit our view, you can see I've named the view and then I've set up specific criteria where my account type is either architect or builder or electrician or interior designer. And then down here I can choose which fields I want to have show up as columns in the view. And then I have various settings where I can choose which one of the users in my company is able to look at this view or I can make it just available to everyone. So views are an incredible way to quickly and easily look up maybe just vendors or maybe I want to look up prospects quickly. Maybe these are people who have yet to become a customer. These might be people that we're currently trying to sell to. But it allows me to dial in and find particular types of accounts. And the same thing would go for contacts. I could look at and create various views for my contacts as well. And views is something that persists throughout the software. And you'll see how we use that uh, in some of the other areas of Zoho as well. One last thing I want to show you regarding accounts and contacts is I'm going to pull up an account here, Robbie and Marie Smith, and there's a print preview for an account. And this is an excellent way to very quickly, see here it just brought up a web page, with all of the information about this account. I can see any potentials that are open for this account, any current cases that are open or and I can see various details about these any closed activities things that have been completed and other various aspects about the account we can print that um, to PDF we can print it to paper you know whatnot but it just gives you a snapshot of the account and all the recent information about it so if I wanted to kinda get a quick shot of what's been going on with this account this print preview of the account is a great way to do that